Break's over. Get working. Pleasure meeting you. Right, kid. Seems like a good kid. A bit naive, but nothing a war or two won't fix. You think he's onto something? What do you mean? Kid comes in, blabbering about his uncle wanting a sword. I don't see the problem. The lad's from Northshire. Why would these damn Elwyn folks commission a sword to a swordsmith in Gilneas? The uncle could be local. We don't know the backstory. Bill, don't be a fool. Kid's an agent or something. Hell, perhaps he even got something to do with the raid in Pyrewood. Kid looks like an orc lover. I ain't about to let an orc fucker leave without a sword in his skull. You're going to check on him, Bill. Fine, fine. But I'm borrowing your horse, William. Don't choke on it. as strict as I thought. You don't know many things about me. This is my darling William's sex life. A waste of time. At last, the fucker oh, awakens. Dad, is that you? Whoa, that was mighty nice of you. Just what I would have expected from a treacherous fuck! Ah, uh, I'm too old for this shit. Do you not remember, old man? Remember what? Upon the arrival of the Horde, the Orcs stood many but few around. Their defeat would have been inevitable. Until you and your damned employers meddled in the war. For fuck's sake, I'm just a bold worker trying to pay for my ale, alright? You ain't never tasting ale again, that's for sure. You and your folks armed the orcs and helped them in destroying our home. Well, this proved to be less than a good day. Get him! You ain't right in the head, lad. You just abducted a crazy lunatic with a shovel. I think you need some help too, mister. Hey, Bill! Great to see you. What did you find out? From the looks of it, a little bit too much. You sold weapons to the filthy greenskins? How the fuck did you survive an ambush? Saren, Bill, don't get all worked up. There's perfectly a good explanation. <clears throat> That's alright. He, he was eating all the pork anyway. You sold weapons to the damned invaders. I sold weapons to the winning side. The Horde would have come. They would have stormed our walls and taken over everything. I did what I could to be on good terms with them. You did what you could to fill your pockets, which hardly matters to a dead man. And what then? <laughs> I die and you're going to live here happily ever after? I don't expect a happy ending. I do, however, expect your teeth on the damn floor. <laughs> Looks like boss finished the order. Not like I got anything to do here. Now do I, boys? Might as well make the delivery. I've always been a simple man. I did the job, took my share, and went home. But sometimes, even the most lone of wolves are forced into a pack. They howl, they resist, but we cannot deny our own nature. What I thought would be a simple delivery would prove to be something much more grand. What is it, you ask? Well, kids, that's a story for another time.